The 14 meters long pedestrian bridge is constructed from organic fibers. It was designed by researchers and college students in the Netherlands and assembled over a stream at Eindhoven University of Technology. It's made out of biocomposite material, so a composite is a resin and fibers, and the fibers are flax fibers and hemp fibers. And they are very strong and they can be used in a structural application. So this was our research, try to find out can they be used in a structural load bearing capacity, and this bridge is the proof of concept of that. A foam core derived from the sticky resin is integral to the construction. What we do is around the shape of bio-based foam that we used here, the fibers are stuck more or less, and you could say they are in a large bag, and then through vacuum, the resin is sucked into the fibers, and then you end up with this material, this composite material. Sensors are embedded into the bridge to measure the strain of walking or jumping on it. During the last year when we did uh, the project, we did a couple of tests in terms of um, understanding the strength and stiffness of the materials, but these are all short-term tests. But now we implemented sensors in the bridge to understand better the long-term behavior in terms of strain and dependency of temperature, moisture, UV light, etc. Biomaterials have been used in construction before, but not in a load-bearing structure like this. We wanted to show that it is really applicable in a real world, real big scale application. The bridge, which opened last October, will be dismantled in a year. But the researchers hope their testing will show that the bridge could last much longer. Deborah Block, VOA News, Washington.